I wanted to pick your brains and ask you a little bit about what sort of things in music that really excite you? What, what things do you look for? What things do you savour in Hindustani music? When you listen to something, mm -hmm. what type of aspects of music excite you, engage you? And what types of aspects of music would, do you find wanting or maybe not uh, inspiring to you? Uh, it's a uh, very difficult question for me to answer. And uh, I think I basically, very honestly, look for sonic presence of the music. I would say that the type of sonic color. Sonic color. Sonic color, yeah. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. So, if the sound quality uh, matches, you know, uh, my imagination, I would say, not even, you know, my understanding mm -hmm. or my perception. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, human imagination is limited. It's mm -hmm. not infinite, you know. Mm -hmm. Everything is limited because of our, uh, uh, how we got brought up and how we are culturally exposed and how we met people, what kind of, whatever, mm -hmm. this kind of things. Mm -hmm. So, it is very difficult to say verbally yeah. that what those qualities are. Ah. But possibly because I did a little bit of research also on mm. acoustics and this and that. And mm -hmm. So, maybe, maybe. I would prefer sound that is quite rich with certain harmonics or overtones. Overtones, ah. So there's a richness, certain textures. richness of overtones. Richness of, uh, certain richness of overtones. Oh, yeah. Certain side, maybe, uh, at, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, lower overtones. Mm -hmm. Maybe a, a certain mix of, because I also do a little bit of, you know, mm -hmm. uh, audio tweaking and all. Okay. So oh. I also use that. So. The gra my graph usually goes because it's, it's, I think this contextual. Mm. I my graph usually this is low, this is high, for example. Mm. So my graph usually go like this. Yeah. Usually go like this, yeah. and uh, so, and when I'm doing to my own sitar like that, definitely yeah. that is my liking. So you, you're talking about the mid range is mid range is low, low lower, yeah, okay. mm. mid range is low. Mm. So. And the thrust, for example, I remember Umakant, when he was very young, he was mm. uh, he just started to sing and this and that. He brought out a cassette, some Bombay company brought out for them. And uh, they were doing alap in, in, in lower register. Then Umakant, you know Umakanth, right? Mundechas. Mm -hmm. oh. Ramakanth and Umakanth, they were singing the yeah, duet, yeah. yeah. Umakanth, su suddenly, I mean, not suddenly, of course, in, in course of time, mm -hmm. he just, uh, just hit the lower sa, like this, you know, it's not the, this way, you know, it, uh, mm -hmm. this way, mm -hmm. or this way. Yeah. And it gave boom, it's such an effect. Oh. That I am yet to hear that that kind of yeah. impact from yeah. anybody because I, I am a well listened person and yeah. but I have listened yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. Not even from Umakanth. I told Umakanth also that mm -hmm. you are that sa, that mm -hmm. mandra sa, mm -hmm. and I am yet to experience a second time. Mm -hmm. So let us take this experience. Mm -hmm. So how I could appreciate? Mm -hmm. Because Great example. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How I could appreciate because I had some kind of conceptual understanding about the Luarsa, this mm. Mandasa. Mm. Okay. Mm. But, and I, I listen to this Ajay Chakravarti and this and that, many people, they, they reach Luarsa, not all, not mm. all musicians, but mm. they're all, there are many vocalists, they reach Luarsa. Mm -hmm. Maybe not huge in number, but mm. there are quite a few. Mm. And I listened to most of them. Mm. And 
I had a concert. I also listened to Gulam Ali Khan, for example. Mm -hmm. That he is uh, singing sa, but it's hardly audible. You know, it's so much match with the Tanpura. Tan but I don't want to confuse with that that effect. Sure, sure. Now I am I am talking about young Umakant Gundesha. Mm. So I had the experience of that lower sa. Mm. I have very clear, somewhat clear understanding or a, a level of understanding, very good understanding about the lower sa, mandasa. Mm. But I never had, never had the opportunity to experience the lower sa with this kind of overtones, mm. this kind of intensity distribution. Mm. Mm. Because we do not play or sing a note directly. We, we do a lot of things, a lot of things happen, you know, grace things, yeah. not grace notes. Yeah. Grace frequencies, I would say. Yeah, yeah. And I also hate the Shruti business. I mean, that is problematic. Mm. So we can talk about that another time. Yeah, So, so that the kind of you know, and that was also that was also his. I think that was that happened naturally because later I I heard. Mm. Well, listen to Makan a lot of time. He also came to Calcutta but gave a lousy recital. I didn't like that. I right. told him on, on his face that I, I didn't get that kind of impact from you mm -hmm. because I came all the way to listen to you. Mm -hmm. So, something that beauty for me got created mm. because I could perceive that. Mm -hmm. And to perceive, you have you should have some kind of understanding for that. You know, some kind of understanding, yeah. and when it it crosses your understanding slightly, not that that much, yeah. because if crosses you know beyond the limit, it has to be optimized. Yeah. So if 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 it is optimized, you know, optimized level, but but more than you you have the experience, then you appreciate that as beauty. So there's an element of surprise there for you that um, uh, a freshness. Yeah, if, yeah, element of surprise was definitely because a magical element has to be there. Yeah. So element of surprise, but. Mixed with expectation, you, because I expected that the, the Mandasa will be there. Yeah, yeah. And I knew that Mandasa is like that. Yeah. But it it came out with such colors, such such this kind of I say sonic colors, as I told you. Yeah. Um, that it 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 impressed me. Yeah. So you weren't expecting it. It is not expected that way because I have listened to so many, so many very, very well known exactly. uh, musicians. Ah. I never even, even, you know, mm. big daggers and all. Mm. But for me, yeah. Yeah. It, it was like that. Yeah. So, in that sense, it's, it's a su surprise element to. Yeah, surprise element, yeah. perceptible surprise. Because yeah. you yeah. have to be, <laughs> yeah, 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 you yeah. should be able to, uh, because if there is a magic and you don't understand what's going on, yeah, yeah. then there is no magic. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So this is one thing. This is about beauty, and uh, if we think of uh, musical beauty, then I wish to bring in some mm. more points, some more areas that what the general people or humans mm. think beautiful. For example, general people I am talking. Mm. Mountains are beautiful. Mm. Oceans are beautiful. Mm. Jungles are beautiful. But all these three, but forget about jungle, this is smaller, but for ocean and mountains, mm. they are actually dangerous because we are powerless creatures. Yeah. We do not have anything. So, from a distance we are fine. From a distance a tiger is fine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have to be safe. Yeah. First, the survival is the main thing. You know, we have to survive first. Yeah, yeah. But I stayed in uh, in the mountain area in, in Sikkim for yeah, four yeah. five years, yeah. and I know that uh, after initially I went when I went there when I yeah. first I entered Sikkim when my son was also uh, with me and there's a big team, mm. and my son's first when well, not yet entered Sikkim, it just you know the car was you know mm. entering like that. Mm. Then I, my Son said that I shall be living here. And this is the place I shall buy a, 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 oh, some right. yeah, yeah. land yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. I, sh I shall settle here. Yeah. So then the driver said that you haven't seen anything, it's not mm -hmm. started yet. Mm -hmm. 
So we had a long tour and this was a fantastic experience. Mm. Yeah. Because we are not in Sikkim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We live in Calcutta. So this is good. But 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 those who know, live there, they know how dangerous is that and the risk and one and one thing. Number yeah. one. Number two, if you constantly experience something, then you, you lose the charm. Absolutely. So, so in the first instance, it's going from one context to another. Uh -huh. So you're appreciating uh -huh. that you, something, an experience that's outside of your ordinary experience. Maybe. Right. So you're appreciating that newness, that difference and the beauty from that perspective. And then the second one you're going to mention? Yeah, second one is, is that something is power and, and we, we, we listen to it from a distance. And yeah. third is, third is not. This is, you have to see what, why and how. So I'm, yeah, this is a very simple way. Mm -hmm. So how we appreciate, I think we, we then we, that comes, then there comes pattern. We come, mm -hmm. we shall be, mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I would love to reach now uh, land on music. Mm -hmm. And while uh, thinking about music, let us see that when we appreciate something as beautiful. Sure. Considering the pattern. Sure. That is the limitation, right? So, so, we find, as I told you some time back, that fall colors are beautiful colors because yeah. it's, it's not there around the year yeah. where there's a fall color. We don't have it in India, but say US and New Jersey fall color, people go there, drive yeah. 300 kilometers to see the fall colors and this and that. Because it's not around the year. That, that particular period that comes is all red and, 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 and looks fine. Then you, you find the flowers in a tree beautiful because mm. most of the components in a tree are leaves. So, and those are also of different color. Leaves, if the leaves are also red and the flowers are also red, mm. then it will be difficult to appreciate. Mm. Only there will change a uh, difference in shapes. Mm. Mm. But when it's a multicolor, you know, you, you have leaves in green. Mm. Mm. And the other is in say other say yellow or red or whatever. Then you and and which is lesser in number mm. again. Yeah. So if the if you have more red flowers and little uh, leaves, mm. a few leaves, then you will appreciate the leaves, mm. not the flowers. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but again. The, how you, the contrast is getting created that there are lots of matches is matching because each this leaf they are a matched pattern you know there's the same similar design mm. there may be a difference in size some may be small new leaves some may be larger uh, but uh, that is also you know similar so this is similarly in mm. the leaves part mm. similarly and, and contrast is because the less less number mm. less in number and, and the and we are lacking the flowers because that is less in number mm. in contrast of similar pattern mm. Mm. so in music also i tell my students that whenever you make the design supposing you are served ice cream mm. on a ball right you like that i like ice cream <laughs> <laughs> so supposing you know white ice cream, say mm. vanilla ice cream, whatever. Mm. Over that they put one cherry, mm. red cherry. Mm. Wow, yeah. uh, that you know that looks so the, good because the, of, of that. The garnish. Yeah, yeah the garnish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so that is opposite to that. But it but other other way around, ice cream possibly tastes you know mm. for me it, it tastes better than the cherry. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so. Visual beauty and uh, uh, visual also sensational beauty, of yeah, course, yeah. your visual sense. Yeah. So when you are uh, appreciating beauty using multi senses, yeah. So uh, uh, you are appreciating from the visual sense also in the test part. Yeah. That, that you can have disparities. You can, you can. And you see, in the ice cream case. Yeah, sure, and. and I'd like to add another element to it as well, yeah. because 
When we talk about the sonic colours, I think, you know, the richness of the sonic colours are really important and what you said about the overtones and Uma Kanji and how we hit that note. But I'd like to also suggest another dimension which we can talk about too, is that sometimes um, scholars have said and other people have said that sound is like a, can be a vehicle. But there has to be something inside the vehicle that's driving it. And in this case, this, the emotion, the intention, the feeling, the presence of the musician, <coughs> the energy of the musician you're, you're, is you're, there. You're, see, sorry, your adrenaline is stopping, but you are using th two, three terms. One is emotion, one is the second, is something else, third is something else. Yeah, I'm just, because I think that thing is, is magical inside. Like sometimes the, you know, the sound is a physical, external aspect that we can measure, oh. you know, through a spectrograph and things. Oh, I would like but, to ask but, something but here. I, I, I'd like to say that there's also, yeah. we, we feel, we feel the sound too, don't we? We don't just hear it as oh. a mechanical no, no, thing. No, 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 we of course we feel, feel it. So this is what I'm trying to open up, this thing that beyond just the <sighs> acoustics, there is a, a poetic aspect that's related to emotions, it's related oh. to something internal. So the, the sound itself can be external, but then it's also carrying something internal. You so say, I, how I, would you respond to that? Yeah, yeah. Firstly, you know, you, you gave some very difficult uh, metaphor as far as some poetry, <laughs> you know, it's, it's very complicated. I mean, for me, I'm not, I'm talking about this, for me. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, no, no, never mind, man, that's good. I mean, this is very common metaphor uh, yeah. to, to connect music. Yeah. Uh, I would go at absolutely on the ground, you know, that, you know, general, general mm -hmm. uh, human day-to-day -day feeling. Yeah. And how you connect, you said emotion, another thing. Yeah. I'm not talking in rasa theory or anything. No, no, no. I understand. I understand. I understand. The understand. Feeling so, like so how you connect that with music, that is how I wanted to tell you. Yeah. But I wanted to, what I feel about that. Yeah. So, when you go through emotional journey and use verbs, you know, you mm -hmm. use, make sound. Yeah, yeah. Then how you make the sound because sound has certain properties. So when you make sound verbally or you hit something, mm. supposing you are very angry with somebody, mm. so you don't hit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You make a sound, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even hitting. <coughs> so when you are with verb, mm. because of any reason, from the sonic aspect, you use more intensity, commonly, commonly. And, and while you are trying to portray verb mm. or trying to portray, uh, what do you say, romance, mm. come on, romance, so verb is easier, yeah. verb is, you know, big sound, yeah. then you, you yeah. but romance is difficult. Yeah. Quoting. Quoting. So, so how do you quote with, with a girl or a girl? Quote? So yeah. Then, then, then uh, that person uses certain kind of voice that 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 person can attract the other sex. Yeah, if, yeah. If between, of course, now we can't have same sexes, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So, so the point is then that the type of uh, intonation in the sign, when a, yeah, uh, yeah. in the sign. I love you, sir. <laughs> no, <laughs> it never happened. Yeah. So, so you know, yeah, yeah, you have to do it in certain pattern, and yeah. that when that can that the musicians use, uh, this is the thing. They are regular experiences, and the, and they already had the sonic experience. They said they try to connect the music yeah. when they're doing that, and that they feel that that's that's a emotional statement. Yeah, yeah, but isn't isn't it also possible? And I think sometimes. This is what I'm trying to get at. Sometimes you can be so moved by some music. It may not be sonically rich or perfect sound or, or overtones might be rich, but what is being expressed, you know, through music can be oh. so powerful that, that, that the sound can be not so important. So it, like, it's I have seen this thing happen when I listen to Manasa, my meetup, okay. Pandit Manasa. Uh -huh. Oh. Vocals or vocals, he didn't yeah, yeah. receive that kind of recognition. Yeah. It's a different thing. Yeah. 
and when he when, whenever when of course i mean he, in his was later he he started singing different earlier yeah. when he only used to sing with tanpura no swan mandal that okay. that period ah. so that will be around 80s ah. 80 81 mm. 79 82 mm. yeah whenever uh, i uh, he's singing in a mahfil or somewhere mm. Then I saw that twenty percent people are weeping. You know, this will, will this full of tears. Yeah. Even uh, I once brought my another guru, Dr. Amar Gautam, who is your, you know, Amar Gautam, right? Mm -hmm. Is a big scholar and good musician, very well-known person. Mm -hmm. And when Manoj Das sang, mm -hmm. firstly, let me tell you, you know, how Manoj Das was. Otherwise, you won't understand. Sure, sure, that'd be great. Ah, so I brought in Dr. Goto, my guruji, mm -hmm. and my other guruji was in, in the other room in Lungi and mm -hmm. beer. Mm -hmm. This thing, mm -hmm. and Manasthi, you have a you know, mm. gum ball, this much, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do anything. Well, I, let me have the tea first. Well, Manasthi, I told you that. You know. mm -hmm. So big guy, the vice chancellor, he was the, the director of programs in all India. He was. Uh, A professor about, mm. about Dr. Gautam, so big guy, right? Mm. Everyone in Kolkata, top. I don't want to take their names there. You know, try to you know yeah. please mm. that person. Uh -huh. That kind of person I brought. Um, mm. uh, <laughs> I I uh, brought mm. to his house. Mm. Anyways, he was fast enough, and he came mm. and said, "Oh, of course, we very nicely they uh, met." Manas that Dr. Gautam. Then Manas that tuned the tanpura. Mm. Professor Gautam is a person, you know, very, mm -hmm. big height, you know, and his his understanding and this and that. There's no question about that. Yeah. He said that what will this person sing when the tanpur is so much this way tuned? Huh. Only he just tuned two two tanpuras. That's all. And I shall tell you second story about Kari Karim Khan sir was. That will be very. Uh, I mean, that will go with this. Sure. But how Gautam Ji yeah. uh, wept? That my, of course, may be wrong, all wrong. But how I relate to his weeping, or who else is this? This, this not weeping actually. This is uh, tears so, and all. So the two tanpuras were tuned. Yeah, then? two tanpuras. I said, oh. how this guy will sing? You know, the tanpuras itself singing, and anybody can sing. Oh really? Yeah. So he sang. Hmm. He sang "Tori." I remember. Mm. Then he sang "Bhairavi." Mm. Then that person, Gautam Ji, yeah. uh, Rakhi was there. My wife was there. Yeah. See, Guruji is one and full of tears. Yeah. So the, the kurta got wet. Oh. This is one story. But how this happened? Yeah. I shall take you back to say fifty-six, sixty, seventy years mm. before this happened. But I don't know. I mean, I mean, value-wise, I shouldn't do that. But let me do it. Yeah. Because that is my country. How I connect? Because this sure. weeping thing, you know, we, uh, listening to Karim Khan Sahab, you know, people used to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Karim Khan Sahab came for uh, to sing here, and Karamat Khan Sahab was there, and he was a famous guy. So Karamat mm -hmm. Khan Sahab was very young. But when uh, uh, Karim Khan Sahab entered, he didn't. Of oh, course, young boy, right? Mm. He didn't like the, you know, the feature of Karim Khan Sahab. So like this person, you know, and so so much of name. Mm. See, he went out and, uh, you know, smoking and whatever. Mm. Then when he went inside, mm. Karim Khan Sahab says, mm. "Hey, my God, what was happening? What a water, an atmosphere with two tanpuras." Wow, mm -hmm. this is one story. Mm -hmm. Now, how this guy will sing the same thing? Can I ask Khasa? Then, the, in the audience, something else is happening. This yeah. may not be connecting the beauty, mm -hmm. but this will connect the power of absorbers. How people get used to get absorbed with those days with music. Yeah, yeah. Habu Kaka, मतलब my my uh, Guruji's younger brother, mm -hmm. Ravindra Mohan Maitra, mm -hmm. 
he had his matriculation examination. So before that, uh, she managed to go there. And Dada Muni, his Dada Muni was my Ustaji Radhikan Matra, was of course the front seater, you know. Mm -hmm. he, yeah, yeah. He, he sat there and Karim Khan sahab came on stage. In those days in, in, in the University Institute Hall, this story I, I heard straight from the horse's mouth, from Habukaka told me this. He went to smoke, in those days they, they could smoke, though, so. Mm. so. But he entered and by that time Karim Khan sahab started. Mm. And he uh, entered with, with the cigarette, you know, the light and cig <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. cigarette was, bur was burning on his, on his hand. It's like that, you know, yeah. lighted cigarette. Then he was in the balcony, right? So he wanted to mm -hmm. see Khansa. Mm -hmm. So he bent like that to mm -hmm. see Khansa, right? And cigarette in his, in his hand. Mm -hmm. He told me himself mm -hmm. that he was like that for three hours. And the cigarette burnt his in his hand. He didn't notice. Didn't notice it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had the pain, personally, till he died. You know, because of that, that, that he had, uh, the, he, had yeah, he yeah. could, yeah. he had to face the music for that. Yeah. But but he couldn't leave out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this also I saw there, there can be you know this kind of connection with the audience. I have. There are many, many examples. I also saw for Bilal Khansam, yeah. also saw for Nikhilda. Yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, but there it goes above beauty. It goes above the sound, it's something else. I mean, the sound is there, but within the sound, the sound is carrying something, isn't it? Carrying a magic quality, something that makes people weep. Yeah, makes people weep, but, but that is, you know, what I saw, you know, for example, the Karim Khansam instance, but for, yeah. for example, uh, Balad Khan Sahib instance, that will be yeah. another story that will go long and long. Yeah. Uh, those are, uh, those are not beauty. Those, those are like hypnosis. Is it? You, your, your, the beauty sensation goes off. You know, there you can't no more, because suppose you look at beauty for a longer period, you no more sense the beauty. Okay, so, so it, could you s switch to, an, you know, the metaphor of food? It's like the flavor, it's not, the, the complexity of the flavor is, is, isn't there to that same extent. Technically, it's brilliant, you know. It, the sound is absolutely so beautifully crafted, but maybe the, the, the flavorsomeness. Then you won't be appreciating that. They won't be appreciating. So, so Because it, they are, they are, you, you have to put in your cerebral power to appreciate that. That's it. Put, so the musician has to put something else in there, is that what you're saying? No, I'm so, talking about the listeners. Listeners uh, has listen to put to understand. The, the cerebral, if they are complex things, suppose if someone yeah. is doing, mm -hmm. so Americans are doing some shoot turn and these are complicated combinations, yeah, yeah. then you have to know that and you have to put your brain that Buddha is playing something very complicated and bold turn and this and that. Sure. Then, then to appreciate that, then that is a different kind of uh, musical appreciation, I would say. So, so, so on one side, you've got the sort of intellectual appreciation and then another side, might be just a strong no, I would say emotion, that, uh, emotional appreciation. Ah, so you can say that, but I, I would say, and I would say, uh, 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 I would say, uh, in 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 a, in it in each cases, this is natural appreciation. You are you are not putting any effort for that. Ex exactly, but what but you are you are you are conditioned culturally yes. to appreciate that. Yeah, exactly, and and conditioned, you know, uh, artistically because of what you brought what you've heard before what your training yeah, yeah, is and all that yes, yes yes but but so there yeah, you are not putting your brain you are just as natural exactly so two people from two different backgrounds one maybe who's um, immersed in the music and someone who's never really heard the music can still get an effect a really deep effect from the music and even start to cry even though they may not know what the intricacies of yeah, so, yeah. I mean, it's not naturally to cry or to uh, uh, connect with music this yeah. way. You don't require to uh, uh, that way analyze yeah. what's going on. Uh, you exactly. are the only because for me, when I listen to music, yeah. I hate to uh, analyze them. Uh, totally, totally. Yeah. I hate to analyze them. I wish to uh, Feel. listen. Just take the the effect. The effect I would say was yeah. that's all. Yeah. Because. I have thought enough, and uh, I do, uh, 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 that is my case, of course. Yeah. I don't want to have uh, at this stage. Mm -hmm. I don't want to 
you know, grab anything from somebody else what he is doing. Why? Yeah, yeah. That's kind of engineering. I don't require that. So I, I never tried. Also, when since long years, you know, mm -hmm. so those the the listeners, the listeners will not do that. True. The musicians will do that. They, they will. But there's different levels of appreciation. There's different intensities. There's different, let's say, different depths of experience. And that depth of experience, you know, can be crafted by your knowledge, what you bring to it. So if, if you've heard Hindustani music all your life, and then you hear this one performance, and it's surprising because it's out of the box, it's something completely unique, then you can appreciate in, in the depth because of the hmm. what you bring to it. Whereas, say, for as a, in contrast, this is theoretical, someone who's come has never heard that. Yeah. They can just feel something special. They don't know why, but they, there's a, a strong experience, but the depth... They will not They will not appreciate complicated music. They, they won't intellectually, but they might appreciate the feeling. But the depth of appreciation it is different if you can combine the experience that you bring, the knowledge that you bring, and then feeling this music mm -hmm. and the delight that comes from something unique or something mm -hmm. visionary. But that doesn't mean that the person who has none of that can't feel some emotion, some, can't feel something really artistic. And the reason I'm saying that is because like in my experience in, in, in the West is people may never have heard of Hindustani music before oh, and the first time they hear it, Affects them. They don't yeah, know yeah. What the that hell is that is why I started Gharwa Majlis because my yeah. experience is like that. I received yeah. four standing ovations, curtain calls exactly. from the people. Yeah. Those those also never heard about the name Ravi Shankar or Lata Mangeshkar exactly. or anybody from India. Exactly. But but they love that is that is the reason behind you know uh, the the start of this kind of exercise that yeah. I uh, I. Uh, don't take that you have to learn the music to appreciate it. No, exactly. You don't know how to, you don't need to know how to cook a sumptuous meal in order to appreciate yeah, the yeah. flavor of it. But if you are a chef who's had many years of experience, then you can appreciate the finer details and, yes, yes, and how they it, like it. that. But overall, the flavor, you know, you have something of it, but it's a different quality, you know, when it's combined with the technical knowledge and the emotion. Yeah, yeah, well, that's okay. That's yeah, okay. But and that's why I think the magic of the music is it's like the flavor in food is that um, it has to be there. But if the flavor is not there, it doesn't mm. matter how good the technique is in technical well, things, is it? You see, my uh, f f f I mean, uh, uncle, who's senior to my father, mm. had a theory about f f f taste of food. Okay. <laughs> he used to say, mm. I don't know, well, that was his mm. theory. They were all food are same. Only it changes in the texture and, and uh, that how how much you have to this thing mm -hmm. and smell, mm. nothing else. Mm. Now if you if you eat say meat mm. and if you eat bread, mm. the difference is you know the fill fill oh. yeah, 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 yeah. on your uh, this thing and, mm -hmm. and the smell. Yeah, yeah. That was his theory. I don't know how you know you have yeah, uh, yeah. heard about you, you have uh, thought a lot of about this this area. I don't know. This yeah. is one theory. Yeah, because there's a thing with kinesthesia, which is when yeah. you, like my first teacher, Bhandari Shokroi, he had this kinesthesia where he would describe patterns in terms of flavors. Mm -hmm. And sometimes some notes, like there was a, a Komo Rishab in Pure Dhanushri, and I just couldn't get it. And he was, he just took me to the kitchen and got jira powder and put my finger in it and said, taste that. That's how you should... That's how that should be. I don't know <laughs> and how you connect that. Yeah, ex exactly. Yeah, it's very I, difficult. I, I had no idea, but for him, that's the flavor that he got. And some people see colors, you know, with with notes. You know, no, in, that's in the the, in, in the old textures they yeah. have mentioned about that. And, and but these are both different sensations, different wavelengths. Yeah, sound wavelengths, have, and they have. The, of course, IIT has a research on that, but this yeah. is not the, <laughs> this is not the time, time, time for that. Yeah, yeah, but. Yeah. Uh, so, this kind of connections 
uh, this, the, the, you, the you, you know so much of research, you know that if yeah. you try to make connections and you yeah. take the data in certain ways, you can do that. But yeah, that doesn't can't make much sense. Exactly. Uh. You can't establish them empirically. No, no. These are both but, different but, senses. But, uh, I mean, in Ashok Roy's mind, these things connected because somehow in his experiences. But for me, it was, you know, it was, I still, um, you know, struggled with that connection. I, it didn't make any sense to me. Because of that, no, you can't. No, no, you, you, uh, yes, but, but that doesn't was, make but, any but, sense but, to me. I, also, but Maybe. what he was trying to do, oh. I think, and this is important, um, was he was trying to say you have to feel it. No, if you no, put this him is under I, fMRI and, machine, and this, is, this is how I feel. You will see, you yeah. put him under the fMRI machine, yeah, and see the brain signals. You yeah. can easily do that. Yeah. and put his finger on, uh, with with fingers on the jira, yeah, whatever yeah, you're yeah, doing, yeah, yeah. and the commonly shove. Yeah. Then you see that how the his brain brain are functioning. Exactly, that is the only way you can do that. Exactly, and for him, <laughs> for him, those those are two patterns that belong together because his brain was wired that way. And it's not something that's, you know, it's empirical. But it's not tested, you know, that can be all works also. It can be, but this is something that I've, you know, I spent but 30, you, you 30 years with But you get important like this yeah. way, if you have a certain different, different yeah. power. Yeah, yeah. You don't know, because people are very intelligent and in how they project themselves. Totally, totally, yeah. So, of course, uh, this is a very loud comment, but yeah. there's a possibility. Yeah. But we can, we can delete this part. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. But for... In his mind, as having spent 30 years with him and you know lived in the same house with him for oh. many years, and watched him cooking and taking music lessons through cooking, and you know, and, and I realized that he tasted the music, and he, he was, in his own mind, that was his approach, that was his reality, you know. So, uh, well, so that is synesthesia is also there. You know, they are creator. Yeah, exactly, this, 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 but, uh -huh. but you have to be that person. You, well, they, they are not. Uh, yeah, they are different people. They're different people. They, exactly. They, they are possibly sick or something. But what I'm, what I'm, I guess, bringing it back to to the, 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 the theme that we're talking about is that you know on one hand you know we started with the idea of, of the sonic beauty you mm -hmm. know and through the richness of sound and the experience of sound and uh, and then I introduced this idea that. On top of that, there's a, the sound carries something that's intangible from the musician. The, the it's very difficult to explain. I mean, I mean oh, because yeah. because uh, if if you ask me, when someone does music, mm. the two things happen primarily. One, mm. he, he creates sound, and and uh, the four qualities in the sound, yeah. whatever, yeah. and uh, they organize. Uh, what they are doing, you know, there's, there's, yeah. there's combining, you know, what with other. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now I am kind of, just uh, last yeah. time I was yeah. talking about that, I now I can possibly visualize a little bit of future, you know, four yeah. five seconds ahead. Yeah, yeah. So I know that this organization, if you organize a sound like that with certain textures, I would say, or yeah. sonic colors, yeah. it will sound good to me. Yeah. It will make you feel good? Huh? It'll make you feel good. Uh, good to me means uh, because it, in those in, a, a, at that point of time, I don't have any other senses. You know, I don't have all. I, I lose all my senses. I, I, there is almost no sense excepting uh, I get connected. To, but I become sound rather. This is the one we are expressing. Right. So you, you dissolve, dissolve into yeah, sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I become because I don't play as I told you. Mm. I don't play. I I become the medium and yeah. that the. Uh, sound gets gets projected and yeah. and when I am seeing the future, yeah. um, and I am knowing okay this will not sound good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I knew. Yeah, yeah. This will not sound good. So no. Yeah. Even when I teach, yeah. well, no, no, not this one. Yeah. And the, the, those changes whether Ethan should end on sa or it will it will sound good with sanisa or yeah. will it sound good with sasa. Yeah. Uh, I decide that from my own person, you know, yeah. my own senses or whatever I feel good or bad. Feel good or bad. Feel good or bad because yeah. of the, my perception as I, I already told you. Yeah, yeah. Everything is subjective. Yeah. Beauty is subjective and Some, there is no good or bad actually. Yeah, yeah. That I understand as, you know, is more effective. Yeah, yeah. The, as I told you that uh, I am now more focused on energy levels that, mm. that day also I told the mm. other day. So, beauty and energy. Yeah, and then, and then 
So you're starting to connect with something else. You know, this is getting a huge subject with energy. And <laughs> so, you know, but, you know, if you're looking at the science, you know, you can... What are, what are the other philosophies that deal with energy? You know, tantric stuff deals with energy. Oh, you know, and, you know, what you're saying about you become the sound is like you almost have to remove yourself. You get out of the way for the yeah, sound yeah. to come through. Yeah, yeah. So this is sort of getting into a, you know sort of deep philosophy, isn't it? You know, I know but that happens yeah. daily, daily, daily. I can yeah, play. Yeah. You know, uh, today this morning I recorded something yeah. because I wanted to test my USB microphone, and yeah. then suddenly I remembered yeah. that I told you, you that we can start with our re. Remember that yes. day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I I, I was playing Ahir uh, so I did a little bit of thing, but yeah. but little but one octave, Pamagare mm -hmm. Sanidha, my own way. Mm. And uh, to me, it was acceptable. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, I found what happened later, mm -hmm. or maybe at that time, that I never heard this kind of Ahir ever. Oh, oh. Not even through me, myself. Well, I never oh. played like this. Uh -huh. <coughs> Nor I have listened to, because all my listening experience, I have I have listened to Ahir at least mm -hmm. 500 times. Yeah, 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 yeah. From yeah. all different people. Mm. I never heard anybody uh, mm -hmm. doing some anywhere near this. It's, it's mm -hmm. different, mm -hmm. but uh, I I didn't disapprove my performance. I sent to George also. Uh, sorry, I sent to John also that uh -huh. he will kill me. But this, there is, all phrases are wrong. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So it came that way. You know, my Ahir Farrell played through me. Actually, I didn't play Ahir Farrell. Uh -huh. That is the situation. So, and you have to think uh, yeah. yourself, observe yourself like that. Yeah, yeah. Drashta. Yeah, yeah. You see, Adrian is playing. Mm. What is he doing? Mm. So you are looking as a th as a, uh, with a third eye yeah, yeah. that how the performance is going on. Yeah. Unless you can do that, you are no performer. Yeah, yeah. But that's that's such a. a you can do your best to create the conditions for that to happen, but you can't guarantee that happens, can you, in a performance? No, no. If you practice my way, that okay. will happen 90% and most of the cases. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because that, that you have to practice. Yeah, yeah. You have to practice that. Once, because Mukherjee Sahib, Imran Mukherjee taught me this. Mm -hmm. The Sanjay, you have to religiously, you should try to do it religiously. That day I started doing that. Right. Because uh, before I went to him, you know, I was already quite famous mm -hmm. and very mm -hmm. well taken by the musicians mm -hmm. and, and music lovers. Mm -hmm. When I went to Khairagar and also there, and so I was performing all over India. Mm -hmm. So, so once he told the Sanjay, mm -hmm. do it. You should has to be sin sincere, like it's a, it's a mm -hmm. religion. Otherwise, it will not come. So that hit my system, and yeah. I started doing that. I I started playing very bad because of that, because it's a change of uh, this thing, uh, a method. Yeah. And uh, what uh, now? So how did you practice? What, 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 what when we say? Have the recording. Should I tell, tell on the recording all this? How do I practice? I'll tell you. You can edit it out, but yeah. But yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you. Yeah. I'll tell you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you, are, you are going too deep in that what I, how I practice. Yeah. I can tell you. Yeah. Uh, you're close to me. Yeah, sure. I mean, but if you don't feel comfortable there, that's fine. I mean, these are very personal and very. Um, no, practice is in, the, what Mukherjee have told me, Bimbal Mukherjee told me that. Mm. Firstly, he once he did Jawari of the sitar. Mm. And so the, and, uh, mm. uh, and that has told told you that he, he, I said, tank, 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 tank. I said, what's this music? Mm. Then when you have a good instrument, you have to play seriously. So he first taught me that whenever you touch the instrument, you have to be at your best. You know, you have to fully focus and mm. fully on it, absolutely sincere. So otherwise, what happens when you are in a concert, actual situation, mm. you you you, do, you will fail to retain the level of uh, devotion you require. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. This is one thing. Second is don't play a stroke unless it it sounds in your head earlier. Uh, That's all. Uh, yeah. So, but I practiced that for so many years. Mm. So now, now it happens, but I don't think it happens to many people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they have their anyways. So I don't want to comment with anybody else, but yeah, but yeah. I think that this this doesn't happen to many yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. Yeah. Hmm. There are hundred and one techniques because 
he made it very sound in technique and this yeah. and this, uh, yeah. instrument handling those are tools yeah. but these are the attitudes yeah. so how you, you actually uh, uh, tools doesn't make art mm. if you have say thousand tins you won't make a van gogh's painting you know? yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the types of brushes. Yeah. So, so tools are important yeah. because without the tool, it, it is very difficult. But if you don't have the tools, even then you can make good art. Mm -hmm. If you have a box camera, you can possibly make take very good picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In those days, they used to do that. Mm -hmm. So Tisha also created very good film. In those days, Bergman created very good films. Mm -hmm. Charlie Chaplin with all all the these things, yeah, 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 he, he yeah. did good job, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So tools are good, mm -hmm. but even with lesser tools, you can make good art. Totally, totally, exactly. The point is, uh, how you use the tool. All, now I uh, let me record this. No, no harm in that. Now I tell the students that don't because those are mediocre. You know, at least some level, not the uh, absolutely beginners. Mm. Of course, I I have very. I mean, I don't have any student to absolutely begin with. So I tell them that don't put over em emphasis on the areas that you can't play. Mm. 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 Because supposing a labor khansa is good, supposing this, this is all, it, 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 again, I don't take anyone good or bad, as I told you. Mm. But supposing the community says he was good, mm. Amzali khansa is good, mm. right. Then you think that I can't play like that, mm. so I am bad, mm. Mm. very simple. So here again I, I shall tell you a story. I have a, it's like my younger brother, a, a person, Dilip, I told, mentioned about that earlier also. So Dilip was always frustrated about Anindu is, is playing so, Anindu Chattis is playing so well and Zakir Bhai played so well and this person played so well. I got frustrated. I mean, I got irritated. Yeah. What come the other person playing so well? What of you? Yeah. Let them play well. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. How you get gained out of that? Zakir Hussain plays very well. Mm -hmm. He plays well. Mm -hmm. What's there? Mm -hmm. What about you? Mm -hmm. Don't you play anything? Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you can play at all? Mm -hmm. Then stop it. Do something. Also, Chana Becho, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not do it. <laughs> so I told I have in those days I have my computer, different kind of computer. This is a Windows PC and, and a, a sound card yeah. and a micro. I have good microphones, a road and this and that. Yeah. So well, wait, let me do something. So I put my Rode NT5, you know, for, for, the, for him and connected that. With the, and I record, but play something for thirty seconds to one minute that you think that you can play well. Mm. Okay. Then he played something. Mm. Then I tweaked with that with the sound because everyone's sound is tweaked. Mm. It's not the original sound. Mm. <coughs> then I played for him. I had a good speaker also. Mm. I played for them loudly. I'm going to listen to it. Mm. And tell me that supposing you ask Zakir Hussain to play exactly this, mm. do you think you would have played better? Mm. He couldn't respond. Mm. Ah. So the point is that you have to understand where you are good. Those persons, for, for example, Amzali Khan sahab, he has certain good points. So mm. he put time on that, energy on that, mm. and his, uh, I would say, orientation, mm. physical orientation and mental orientation matched that. Mm. He could understand his own voice. He didn't try to copy his own father also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So that is why he could could connect to his own inner voice. And with that, he is playing something. Or same for, of course, uh, Aliyo Khansa kind of copying his father. But even then, he has his own, own qualities too. Yeah. So these people even are, you know, kind of playing those things that they think that they are good yeah. and they have, they have put their thousands of hours on their, their personal this thing. Mm. So why you should copy them at all? Yeah. 
Yeah. This is their 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 points, right? So you should find out where you are good, yeah. and do it so well that you are one in the world. Yeah. So you find your own authentic self. Yeah, you you have to find than, your own voice rather than copy someone that's not you. Because you don't you don't reach because my ustad Pandit yeah. Adukan Matro yeah. hated the someone copying him. Yeah. He, he told me. Yeah. That if someone suppose, suppose if someone copies me, I yeah. I am there, right? Yeah, yeah. So who will listen to you? Yeah. <laughs> Very yeah. strange. And is it because people think, oh, he's he's popular, he's really good. I'll copy him, and then I'll also be good. You also be good. You see, people think, and that will put put the sub. That person is here. That's what that will put him. Here. Yeah, it's just a copy in itself. Yeah. yeah. Shahid Parvez, I don't think ever will be able ever reach, reach the level that Bilal Khan mm -hmm. reached, at least for us. Yeah. Yeah. But if that person is dead, so you yeah. can't do anything. But yeah. 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 so copying Karim Khan, sir, there are copies. But uh, this Farsi per person, very good singer. Mm. But Karim Khan, sir, was Karim Khan, sir. Yeah. For Yas Khan, sir, there are so many hundred and one copies. Yeah, totally, totally. Just, I'm just trying to tie all these things together now, you know. <laughs> so, you know, on one hand, we, you know, you're talking about the sonic perfection, mm -hmm. you know, and really crafting. I never said perfection. No, okay, you, you didn't. Sonic uh, colors. Sonic colors, but um, but a richness in the in the colors. <sighs> Perce per 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 the perception of richness. Perception. Rich these are all complicated terms, sir. They are. They are. So, <laughs> give, give me some. Give me some space here. <laughs> So, uh, painting with with sound, mm. and but painting in a way that has a has a richness because you you talked about overtones right at the beginning, and to to be conscious of them at least you know be conscious of, of producing something that has a richness in overtones, and then then we talked about you, know, you talked about the contrast with between. Um, you know, using the metaphors of garnishes <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, things, yeah, and then yeah. also, you know, beauty. Similian contrast, and, mass and contrast. Mass, and then beauty being a matter of context that, that you know, an ocean is can be beautiful, but if, you, if you're in a boat, but if you're just swimming, you know, without any boat in the middle of the ocean with sharks around, then it can be a horrible place, you know, like that. So the context is an important thing, and, and beauty is dependent upon the, the context. Then, then we mentioned, you know, I, I try to bring in my own little pet thing of, of um, that the sound is a vehicle that that carries something, and this matches up with your authenticity yeah. as mm -hmm. well. That it's, it has to be you somehow, your voice, and and the artist is sort of one of the goals is to find your own voice, isn't it? I th at least for my case, yes, 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 and that's the, there's authenticity in that, and that is that something that that becomes the. Um, Carried in the sound as well because it's an authentic. It's not. It's you. It's not, and it's unique because sure. of that. Mm. And then, and so then we got into this other thing about um, that's part of it. But then there's another, even more intangible part where you stand out of the way and you're channeling something else as well, which then all these other things start to dissolve, don't they? Sure, and sure. Be, and be go into the background. So. I can see it, you know, operating on so many levels. This artistic thing, and you know, if we want to call it the aesthetic experience, but then you know, beyond that, you know, there's mm. also an experience that's almost spiritual, you know, in a sense. I don't want to. I mean, uh, I, I, we're, really invi we're inviting to... someone in who's complicated <laughs> <laughs> and is loader, and so we'll just keep them, <laughs> keep, them there, keep them there. But what I'm trying to say is an intangible uh -huh. aspect, right? Definitely intangible. Yeah. Yeah. And what, have we, however you want to describe it. Yeah. So these these all things all coexist at the same time. Yeah. So the way that we can make sense of some of this complexity is through stories and metaphors, which is what you know we've been yes, trying. Yes. To do as well, but but I think this is you know the thing that's frustrated scholars, you know, and frustrated musicians <laughs> over over centuries in, in that you can't. How do we use verbally express this experience? And I think you know by using metaphors and stories and using uh, what we call sensory analog. So you know, it's like this. It's you know it tastes like this. It's like this. We can somehow. Get a glimpse of this 
magic. But mm -hmm. it will never particularly capture because you have to feel it. Yeah, it? yeah, sure. Yeah. And, and it is very difficult to explain verbally because yeah. th this is a different because I, I told you the other day that yeah. we have to develop symbols for every experience then, uh, yeah. sound experience. Yeah. And we don't have that, that, one, that many symbols. And then that has yeah. to be communicated to the society, you know, that, yeah. that this is for this, this is for this. Otherwise, yeah. well, I mean, uh, it's very difficult. Yeah, well, and the same with, with taste. How, how would you develop symbols for taste, different tastes? I mean, you, you can have, you know, there's five different taste sensations there in can Japanese There can be food. translation of uh, Sense. human feelings, you know, or, or sensations, I would say. Yeah. You know, you, you, something, you, 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 for example, you smell the rose, rose is very beautiful, yeah. right? You, yeah. you smell yeah. like that. You smell good, yeah. but how you explain that? Well, and even if you don't know, supposing sugar is sweet, mm. and when you are take, take this one, this one is sweet. Mm. You don't know the how, how the other person. I mean, now with the fMRI and MRI machine, possibly you can do, but we don't go that way. Mm. That how the other person is feeling about sugar or rasgulla or cake or pastry, yeah. you don't know yeah. because. But you know that this kind of uh, piece of object, when you put in mouth, mm. the sensation you will be having mm. with a second pastry. Supposing that's a pastry, with a second pastry you will have some kind of similar sensation and, and that connects to the sensation of sugar. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So like that, you know, but, but you can't uh, uh, explain that how this, this, this one will, mm. will mm. taste. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, a nice, that's a nice place to finish. <laughs> Good, okay. okay. Please come again to Calcutta. Thank you. We're going to have longer time. Yep. For sure. Thank Good. you. Enjoy. All the best. Okay. Enjoy.